The History of Middle Earth is a 12-volume series of books published posthumously between 1983 and 1996, compiled and edited by Christopher Tolkien from the extensive unpublished manuscripts of his father, J.R.R. Tolkien. The series provides a comprehensive look into the evolution of Tolkien's legendarium, tracing the development of the mythology, languages, and histories that make up the world introduced in The Hobbit and expanded upon in The Lord of the Rings and The Silmarillion. Volume 1, The Book of Lost Tales Part 1, explores the earliest version of Tolkien's mythology, dating back to the end of World War I. These tales reveal a more whimsical and less developed world, showcasing stories that would later evolve into the tales of the elves and the creation of Arda. Significant narratives include the music of the Ainur, the fall of Gondolin, and the tale of Tinuviel, later known as Luthien. Volume 2, The Book of Lost Tales Part 2, continues with the early mythology, further detailing the stories of Beren and Luthien, Tarambar, later Turin Tarambar, and Arendel. These stories also delve into the history and nuances of the Elvish languages and the cosmology of Middle-earth. Volume 3, The Lays of Beleriand, focuses on verse narratives composed by Tolkien in which he experimented with various poetic forms. Two primary poems are the Lay of Lithian, recounting the romance of Beren and Luthien, and the Lay of the Children of Hurin, telling the tragedy of Turin Turambar. Volume 4, The Shaping of Middle-Earth, presents an evolving view of the mythological framework, featuring early versions of the Silmarillion stories, genealogies, maps, and the Ambar Kanta, which describes the physical structure of Arda. It also includes the Quenta, an early prose form of the Silmarillion. Volume 5, The Lost Road and Other Writings, moves into the 1930s, providing additional insights into the Legendarium's development. The title piece, the Lost Road explores the concept of time travel linking the present with Numenor, the ancient civilization of the Dúnedain. This volume also contains the Quenta Silmarillion, a further refined account of the history of Arda, along with language materials and the early Annals of Valinor and Annals of Beleriand. Volume the Six, The Return of the Shadow, is the first of four volumes focused on the creation of The Lord of the Rings. It starts with the earliest drafts of the story, where initial ideas and characters differ significantly from the final version. It recounts the development of the early chapters up until the point where the Fellowship is formed. Volume Sept, The Treason of Isengard, continues the journey through the early stages of The Lord of the Rings, covering the creation of key moments and settings, like Moria, the discovery of the Palantir, and the character evolution of Treebeard. Various plot iterations and character development stages are discussed, showing the transformation of the narrative. Volume 8, The War of the Ring follows the drafting progress of The Lord of the Rings, examining how Tolkien refined the story from the departure of the Fellowship from Rivendell through to the naming of the book, The War of the Ring, encompassing significant events such as the Battle of Helm's Deep, the journey of Frodo and Sam to Mordor, and the detailed planning of the narrative. Volume 9, Sauron Defeated, concludes the examination of The Lord of the Rings Drafts. This volume traces the completion of the novel, including the scouring of the Shire and the storyline's various conclusions. It also returns to alternate narratives, such as The Notion Club Papers, a sequel to The Lost Road, delving into time travel and Numenorean legends, and The Drowning of Anadune, which relates to the Akalabeth and the downfall of Numenor. Volume X, Morgoth's Ring, turns attention back to the earlier ages and further developments of the Silmarillion post-Lord of the Rings. It includes the later Quenta Silmarillion, Athrabeth Finrada Andreth, an elvish debate on mortality, and new concepts such as the myths transformed texts, which explore different aspects of the world's mythology. Volume Web, The War of the Jewels, complements the previous volume with more late Silmarillion papers, including the Grey Annals, which is a year-by-year -year account of the First Age, and additional narratives such as The Wanderings of Hurin and the evolution of the stories of Turin and Tuor. This volume expands on the history of the elves, the tales of the children of Hurin, and the development of Tolkien's languages. Volume the Twev, The Peoples of Middle-Earth, delves into the appendices of The Lord of the Rings, experiencing how they were developed 
and further surveys content related to the races and cultures of Middle-earth, including hobbits, dwarves, and elves. Essays included in this volume discuss the languages of Middle-earth and the evolution of its writing systems. Across these twelve volumes, readers witness the growth of J.R.R. Tolkien's imagination, from his early conceptions and world-building experiments to the meticulous detailing of Middle-earth's geography, genealogies, languages, and the elaborate backstories that enriched The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, and The Lord of the Rings. Through the history of Middle-earth, readers gain an unprecedented look at the craftsmanship of one of the most influential fantasy writers his lifelong dedication to crafting intricate fictional realities and the vast scope and depth of his creative vision.